Good morning to the world. This is Happy Science Morning Prayer from Tokyo, Japan. To be strong and brave and stay positive, powerful and constructive. Let us begin. Lord Elkantare, Master Ho Okawa, thank you very much for giving us another day with new life, for our spiritual growth and creating utopia on earth. With our sincere gratitude, let us recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. Through the prism of Buddha, there appeared the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buttarand. Buttarand is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching, especially this is the land of souls, rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat. So you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock. And you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the two words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to punt in a stream. Then you can change your course. The two words means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the two words and Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now, here, listen to me. Never lose your way now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand 
and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by, yet still your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is the reason why you should understand other people and you yourself should reflect what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other. And it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now, here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia, shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas. Believe in that the light has reality. Believe in that love has reality. Believe in that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here we vow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord Eric Ntare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O oh Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love earth. Protect us from all evil and open the future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, May you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life.
For this, I give my thanks. Now, we will have some time to dedicate our deepest gratitude to the Lord. Good morning again, everyone, and thank you very much for joining Happy Science Morning Prayer. Last time I talked about the time. I asked you, please use the li a little chunk of time. It's uh, like 15 minutes efficiently, right? Uh, how about this week? Did you find the fit? 15 minutes in your day and did you try to make it efficiently? Because that 15 minutes will be the more than three days if you continuously uh, use that efficient time in a year. Okay, so today I would like to talk about the time continuously. And from this Kyoten, this uh, small booklet, make the most of your time. Okay. Master said, first of all, so time is a valuable commodity and it is something no one can take away from you. No matter what the circumstances you find yourself in, even if you are being uh, tortured uh, there are still 24 hours in a day. Time is golden and a diamond of eternity, and nobody can take away its value. Okay, Master said like this, first of all. So time is the value, golden value for you, for everyone. And no one can take it from you, even, uh, for example, the money sometimes can take away from you by somebody else, or the, some treasure can be stolen by something else, but your time cannot be stolen or cannot be uh, taken away, uh, took away from you. So nobody can do it. So time is a very important treasure from the heavenly world for all of us. So let's make it efficiently, and uh, when we make it efficiently, and when we make it like a golden or a treasure or a golden, uh, yeah, treasure, we can make our life as golden, or we can make our life uh, more brighter and brighter. Okay. So uh, first of all, I'm going to read the one part from this Kyoten. Master says like this, the 24 hours that make up a day are the accumulation of all the seconds and all the minutes that pass. There is no escape from this fact. All the fruits of civilization and all human activities happen within this time frame. 
if time had been ignored, there would never have been any achievements. Okay, Master teaches us about the 24 hours, meaning of the 24 hours. So, the time that one second accumu accumulates 24 hours. So, to, if, uh, we think 24 hours, but when we divided it, there is each one of the second, right? So we need to think about uh, make each one of the second brighter or greater. Okay, so that is a uh, one point which Master says. So 24 hours is accumulation of a second or a minute. So let's, okay. And then uh, Master asks you like this. What do you do with the time you have at your disposal? I would like you to think about this. How do you use it? Okay. And also, uh, what we need to think is how we use the time, right? Last time I talked about the time and I asked you, please do not waste the time. So we need to think when we waste the time. Master says in this book, Sometimes we waste the time in work and study. Okay. Master says like this. Looking back at the course of an average day, where do you think you waste the most time? Some will say they waste it in sleep, others in the time they spend on meals and yet others on the time they spent in the bath. However, I would venture to suggest that although meals and sleep may appear to be a waste of time, they are a necessary part of living. You have a physical, physio, physio, physiological need for these sorts of things, which if you try and ignore, you will have to pay the price. It is not in these areas, but rather in your job and your studies that you waste the most time. So Master says, some people might think our time of sleep meal or bath is the time of waste. But the master says it is not true because uh, when we live as human beings, that time is necessary. But uh, actually, we can find the waste of the time in our work and study during the time of working and studying. So, Please check your time in study or working carefully. So sometimes we think we are doing something, something. So we easy to think this is not a time a waste of time. But sometimes what we are doing is just wasting the time because that will not make any result. Okay, and then when we make, when we use the time, we need to think the one rule that is a Pareto's rule, Pareto's law. So it's uh, like a 20%, 80% rule. So 20%, the 20% of time will make the 80% of result or 20% of people of a company will make the 
80% of a result in that company. So like this rule, there is, okay? So on this rule, we need to think about our day also. How about, how do you use your time in your work? Uh, we are working in the company or something else. Uh, for example, 10 hours. So on this rule, Pareto laws, uh, in 10 hours, there is the important two hours, which you can work efficiently, or you can make your power, uh, how do I say, mm, the best. You can make your power the best. So during that two hours, you need to do what you need to do in the most, okay? So at the time, so it means in two hours, in two hours, you need to do the 80% of your, your work, okay? So that is very important mindset. So sometimes if we don't think like this, we easy to use our time and we easy to waste the time. And we don't know which time is the most for us, which time uh, I can do the best in the day. Right, so every day, uh, please think about when you can work the most in your day. Okay, for example, uh, in the morning, like uh, two hours in the morning from 10 to 12, you can make uh, your uh, ability the most, or you can use, uh, you can uh, work the best in the afternoon or in the night. So that is depends on you, I think. So please think about when you can use your time efficiently the most and please use the time for the most important work in your day or in your life. Okay, that at the time uh, you can make your job your work or your study better and better. Okay, so that is the, uh, if we can think like this way, uh, we can make the time efficiently and we will not use the uh, wasted time. Okay, so let's think about every day and uh, let's practice it every day. So, of course, in one day or two days, uh, it is a little bit difficult to do it sometimes. But when we continue uh, that, like that mindset for one month, one year, at a time, uh, we can do it easily without thinking. It, it will become the custom or habit uh, for your life. Okay, so this concludes Happy Science Morning Prayer. Be strong and brave and stay positive, powerful, constructive. Have a nice day.